Hi everyone, this is Saba and welcome to another episode of Using Digital Tools to Work Smarter, Not Harder. Today we're going to take a look at how you can annotate your textbooks using your laptop and then transferring your documents to your iPad. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and begin by downloading a reading from the Norris Medical Library. So here we are in Norris and one of the first things you're going to want to do is come over to the section that says students and you're going to click over there. From there, what you're going to do is scroll on down to Physician Assistant. From here, what you'll see are all of the different ebooks that are available to you. Now, this is the one that you're going to come, you're going to choose what it is you're looking for. For purposes of this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and choose Current Medical Diagnosis and Treatment. So once I tap there, I'm going to want to tap once more on the title and it will now bring up my textbook. So if I scroll down, I can see all the different chapters in my text. Let's just go ahead and choose Chapter 1. And here I have chapter one all downloaded. Now what I'm going to want to do from here is go ahead and select print. One of the things you'll notice that it does is it takes away all of the extra items on the screen and gives me just my text. So I'm going to want to go ahead and save this. Please make sure that it's selected to save as PDF. We're going to go ahead and save and we're going to title this um, just reading and always make sure things are saved to your desktop. It's usually sort of easier to work with drag and drop export and things of that nature. So let's go ahead and press save. And as you can see here now, my reading has saved for me on my desktop. Now, a couple things you're going to want to make sure to do. Now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and send this to our iPad. We know that the iPad is much, much better when it comes to annotating readings and documents. Yes, we can do it on the Mac as you saw in one of the other tutorials, but the iPad is definitely going to be a little bit more fluid when it comes to your annotations. So we're going to want to go ahead and airdrop this to our iPad. So the first thing we're going to want to do is make sure that Bluetooth is on on both devices. So let's go ahead and turn Bluetooth on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a two finger tap or a right tap, depending on your keyboard setup. And I'm going to go ahead and select share and I'm going to select airdrop. It will then bring up the different devices that are available for me to airdrop this item to. So I'm going to go ahead and send this to my iPad. So I'm going to click my iPad. So on my iPad, you'll be able to see that, you know, you get a little notification saying that someone's going to airdrop a file, go ahead and allow it to come to you. And then what you're going to want to do is decide what app you want to open this up with. So we're going to go ahead and open this up with Notability. And it's going to ask us, do we want to create a new note or do we want to add this to another note? So perhaps you want to add this onto maybe your lecture notes. Um, but for this case, we're just going to go ahead and select create new note. So one of the other nice options that comes up for me now is I can now actually select which pages it is that I want included. So from there, I'm going to go ahead, come up over to the top right and select import and it will now have generated a new note for me in Notability. From here, I can use the annotation tools in Notability and I can do voice recordings and all this other great stuff. When I'm done with my note, what I want to be able to do now is send this to Evernote because remember Evernote is really where we're learning to curate all of our resources so that we're out in the clinic, wherever we are, we can access our notes anytime, anywhere. Evernote also really allows us to make our notes nice and searchable. We can add our tags. So what we're going to do is come up over to the left hand side and tap the little share row and we're going to do share. We're going to select PDF and we're going to go ahead and share the note. It will then ask us where would you like to open this? So we're going to go ahead and we're going to select Evernote. And over here, if I want, I can add in a few notes. I can go ahead and decide what notebook it is I want to put it into, and then I can save. From there, I'm going to come back to my iPad screen. I'm going to go ahead and select Evernote. Here's my note with my reading. Now, a couple things that I can do here. I can go ahead and I could edit the title of the document if I wanted to. I can go ahead and press this little I over here to add any tags that I might need. I can also set reminders for myself. I can attach a camera, an audio file. I can also go ahead and open up the PDF. And this is where it becomes really significant because now I can actually go ahead and directly annotate onto this PDF. So if I go ahead and I tap my annotation tool, I can now use the tools on my right hand side to go ahead and do what it is that I need to do. So with these tools, maybe one of the things I'd like to do is go ahead and add some text. So I'm going to go ahead and tap the A. And one of the things that I maybe I don't like that text and it's a little too you know, just bolded for me. If I go ahead and I tap the text box up at the top, I'll see a little smaller A. I can actually tap that to then go ahead and change the way the text appears. So again, I have a lot more annotation tools that I can use that I can come on back to 
And when I'm done, I can come on up over here. I can tap save. And now my note is annotated, it's saved, and it's ready to go. Remember one of the really nice things that Evernote does for you is it creates an annotation summary. So instead of having to go back through all the pages and find what it is that you had annotated, it will create a, and generate a summary for you. All right, guys, as always, if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to email or come by and see me. Thank you for watching another episode of Working Smarter, Not Harder. Till next time.